temps, ensuite sans route, mais courtier. Mais on est M. Chabrol dans quelques instants. Hey lads, welcome to Brussels. Plan is drink some Belgian beer, eat some Belgian food, go around like the absolute doctor that I am and just see what happens today. We flew in this morning, we're flying out tonight. It's on the go, 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 on the fly, on the fucking whatever. So I'm at the Mont des Arts, I think it's in French. Also, I forgot the fucking shades lads, I'm fucking blinded here. Oh yes, very artistic. I don't know what this below go on YouTube with those feckin' knockers. Right lads, just in a Starbucks right beside something that I should probably know the name of. Grand, grand place, grand place A. Some big massive looking church kind of building. Real touristy square, and because it's a touristy square, I just paid the goods of 10 euro for a little coffee and a muffin. I'm literally, I can't get any feckin' internet service on my phone. I said, right, I'll find a feckin' Starbucks or something, get a bit of Wi-Fi and make a plan. Fun fact, when they ask in Starbucks, what's your name? I always just say Tom, because I believe Tom is the simplest name in the English language. And my name being Dara, the way it's spelt, especially when I'm abroad, I just couldn't be arsed trying to spell it out. So I just say Tom. I started when I lived in New Zealand like seven years ago and I lived around the corner from the Domino's. They used to do five dollar pizzas. I'd be in there every day of the week and they'd say, what's your name for the pizza? I'd say Dara and then you'd say D-A-R-A-G-H. And when I said the or, they thought I was saying O oh, because of the real strong accent. So I said, you know what? My name is Tom. You can't fuck up Tom. So down this alleyway, I've been told to come to Delirium Cafe. It seems like it's feckin' The whole place is the one big cafe. Cafe over here means fucking pub, I presume. I'm gonna go in and say, give us a good strong Belgian beer there, lad. Any beer that you recommend? Most famous is Tremens. So this is the Delirium Tremens. Found out that it's pretty much mainly French speaking in the city of Brussels. So I'm trying to pronounce my R's like 8.5%. Strong stuff. Looks like a normal beer. I don't know, is it gonna blow the head off me? Slange, I suppose. Feels weird it's not a Guinness. Baby. It is actually lovely, but boy, she's strong. Nine euro, 10 cent, steep. I don't know, are you paying for the feckin' extra percentage? This thing is, it's pretty warm. It's not too warm, but it's pretty warm. This thing is condensating and dripping all over me. But I like it, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's like a perfect strength, 8.5%. Fucking beast mode. Two of them, you'll be on your ear. It's safe to say, that pint blew the balls off me. Don't forget your sunscreen, lads. A little bit on the bald spot up there. Right, lads, so behind me is the mannequin piss, which I think translates, someone told me, a local fella told me, it translates to pissing boy. And they said it's the national symbol. The national symbol? I don't know, the mascot? Why, Dara, is a young lad pissing a national symbol? Well, that's the question I cannot answer. That's a question you would have to pose to the people of Belgium and the people of Brussels. But there he is, pissing on a load of sheep. Pretty cool. Lads, I quickly just want to take a minute out of this fun, cool, action-packed video vlog to give a massive thanks to the sponsor of the video. You know the crack, lads. These flights aren't free. Massive shout out to the lads over at Manscaped. You know I've been working with them for well over two years now. If you want some smooth balls for the summer, lads, the Ultimate Performance Package 4.0 will keep you smooth sailing downstairs for those hot days. It gets a bit sweaty down there. That's disgusting. 
but it's reality. You've got the Lawnmower 4.0, the best razor in the game. It's got the LED light, it's waterproof, skin safe technology, the weed whacker for those hard to reach places, your ears, your nose, stick it wherever you want. It comes in a really cool travel bag. I take it on trips such as this because I'm a traveling man, a man of culture. Also included the crop preserver and the crop reviver and the free pair of Manscaped boxers. What more could you ask for, lads? Go over to manscaped.com, use my code PINTS20 to get yourself 20% off plus free delivery and enjoy a smooth set of nuts for the rest of the summer. So lads, I just walk past a lad eating a tomato like an apple and all I want to do is go to the airport and fly home because that's just, that's not on, is it? So I'm at the brokerie, going to Merod, Merodi, Merodi, yeah, so I can hop on either of these trains, yeah. Right lads, so behind me is the, let me try to pronounce this, Monument du Cinquantenaire. I love the old French. It's an absolutely scorching day here in Brussels. Like I said earlier, I forgot the shades, so I'm too stubborn to go and feckin' buy a pair. I'm going around like this, you can't even see me, the camera's so far away. But yeah, I suppose initial thoughts on Brussels, pretty cool city. I've never been in Belgium, it's my first time in Belgium. So it's a little bit sort of, I don't know, disorient. Hating. First thing I know is it's an extremely sort of diverse city. Like it feels like it's just like the center of Europe, and it kind of is, I suppose, with all the EU political shite. Not that I'm into that whatsoever. Anywhere I've gone so far in the city has been fairly beautiful, very drone shot friendly, I would say. So overall, happy enough so far. Right. So beside the monument, there is a place called Auto World. A lot of cool cars. I peeked ahead inside. 15 quid to go in, uh, I'm not really a car guy so I wasn't ours paying the 15 euro. You could see most of it from standing outside anyway, but yeah, if you're into your cars, Ferrari, cool. Sure go on, so we'll have the one pint of Guinness. A few lads did say Kitty O'Shea is at a good pint. Kitty O'Shea is one of those places that I've seen in so many towns or so many cities around Europe must be a franchise or a chain, or I don't know what the fuck, but. Good one, yeah? And what's the most popular beer? Stella, Jubilee and Guinness. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Jesus, right, it's been a shite coming out of somewhere. Zero dommage. Few bubbles. Oh God, it stink. Whew. I'm not moving. I'm not fucking moving. I'm not fucking leaving. Slancher, lads. Not the worst. Point was seven euro twenty. I asked the guy inside, um, is Guinness popular? He said during the day you'd only sell about ten pints, but at night it, it flies out. And I think I'm literally right across the road from what's it even called, lads? You always just see it on the news, like European Central Center of where central politics goes down. Like I said earlier, lads, the whole internet situation, usually uh, you just land in a city anywhere in Europe and you've, it just connects, but unfortunately here it's not really working. You can get like the city Wi-Fi there, but I just haven't been able to connect to it. So I've just had to, like a fucking teenager, just leeching off a of Wi-Fi wherever I go. It doesn't really affect me apart from getting trying to get directions on Google Maps. I must say that I'm a big fan of this, coming in the morning, going home the same day. I just You would think, oh yeah, great crack, staying in a hotel, having a few pints. That gets old really quick. I just want to get home, do my own gaff, my own bed. I should be in bed by half 11, midnight tonight, so don't get me wrong. Barely slept last night, was up at four o'clock for the flight. Cram your river. Oh, Dara, you poor bastard. Oh, we feel so sorry for you. Violin. Oh, you, were, you did barely slept last night. Oh, poor you, Dara. And now you're, oh, and you had to go to Brussels to drink a couple of different pints. Oh, Jesus. Oh, seriously, you have it so bad there. That was an all right pint. Would I sit here and have two or three more? No. That's not to say there's any better Guinness in the city of Brussels. Not quite a seven, like a 6.9. Get a metro ticket for eight quid for the whole day. Not too bad. We're going to see a big 
shiny bunch of balls. Right lads, I'm here at the big old balls. <laughs> what the fuck are they called? Balls of steel, another national symbol, apparently. Looks as if you can go inside, but you know me, I'm more one of those guys that would be like, if you're going to the pyramids in Egypt or the Sagrada, the Familia in Barcelona, I'm the type of guy I rock up, I look at it and I go, great, ticked off the list, I don't need to go inside, I don't need to queue up and pay money to go inside, it's the beauty is on the outside. We are back on the train, heading to a place called Sirio Cafe. Apparently one of the oldest cafes. They say cafe, but I think cafe means cafe and pub, boozer. One of the oldest boozers in Brussels. Established 1886 on the Duvel. I had to get a bottle because so the strong stuff is in the bottles. 8.5% alcohol, same as we had earlier. 330 ml bottle, your man came out. I was gonna record him, but I would've felt weird he came out and he was doing this fancy little pouring into the glass. This was only 470. I kinda of thought this was like a, this place was some sort of fancy place known as a brown cafe. I think that just means sort of this, maybe how we describe in Ireland pubs as old man pubs. It's kind of dark inside. Look at that slancha. A lot of head there. More head than I'm used to. What, 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 what? Duvel, baby. I'm not going to lie, I can't taste a whole lot of difference between that and the point I had earlier. I'm going to sit here and enjoy me. I presume these are on the house, mate. Imagine they just fucking charge me. Oh, yeah. Very drinkable. Very sessionable. I finished off with a lovely meal, meal for one, yeah, in a place called Nuet Nig Enough Flemish beef stew with chips. It was lovely. The stew maybe could have done with a little bit more flavor. It was bland. All right, Gordon Ramsay. It was oh, bland. Shame. Is it shame? Bland. No, it wasn't bland. It was lovely. Um, chips were gorgeous. A lovely little meal for one. I'm gonna catch, I'm gonna catch the whatever I see, it's an intercity train to the airport now and fly home. A fantastic day it's been. I hope you enjoyed the video, lads. Like I said earlier, let me know in the comments how you enjoyed the new, Jesus Christ. Let me know in the comments, yeah. What you thought of the video, hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, had a great time, felt very liberated, been able to just kind of film whatever, but we will keep the odd bit of pub stuff in there. Fucking hell, I'm about to get murdered here by a little wasp. P.S. Shout out to my mate Chris from Belgium, living in Ireland. Told me everywhere to go today. Thanks for watching, lads. See you in the next video.